Hey there, it's Joseph from Roboflow. Today, I'm gonna to show you how we made paint.wtf, the world's most popular AI judged art competition. Okay, so a little bit of background. Last weekend, the Roboflow team and our friends at Boost were curious, and we thought, could we use OpenAI's new model, Clip, which connects images and text to judge people's drawings of art? And so in a weekend hackathon, we put together a project that in the last week has attracted over 80,000 players, been at the top of subreddits like Internet is Beautiful and a couple of others, attracted press in over 100,000 submissions of users submitting their drawings to see if they could rank highest judged by AI. So today I'm gonna walk you through what paint.wtf is, why we built it, and how Clip, and that is computer vision more generally, powers everything that works under the hood. Okay, so for introducing paint.wtf, let's, uh, let's just actually take it live. So on paint.wtf, if you visit the site, you'll see a series of prompts, and they're kind of silly things, like draw a family of piranhas, or draw a motorcycle in the desert, a farm in the middle of LA. And you can actually even see the prior drawings and what other people have drawn. You'll notice that some of these submissions have actually tens of thousands. Uh, so for example, best drawing of under upside down dinosaur attracted 31,000 submissions, or best drawings of a tattoo of a mailbox had 10,000 submissions, exploding pig, 15,000 submissions, fabulous monster, over 10,000 submissions. Now, let me just show you some of the quality of what we got here from people that were submitting their art to be judged by artificial intelligence. So for example, for the category of upside down dinosaur, we saw all kinds of amazing artworks. I mean, this one here is, is ranked number one, but people got really detailed with some of their art. And uh, it kind of goes to demonstrate the power of the internet, of people being able to create all kinds of creative, unique, novel dinosaurs. Or this one, tattoos of a, of a mailbox. I thought this one was funny. And there's all kinds of actually pretty good renderings, like this one of someone sort of wearing a tank top at a profile view, this one of someone's arm with a tattoo, or this category, exploding pigs. We got some really <laughs> well-drawn, detailed exploding pigs in this category. This one has got his face, it just kind of explodes, and uh, there you go. Or this one, world's most fabulous monster. Look at this, the detail that went into the current number one out of 10,000 submissions. But there are all kinds of amazing paintings uh, and submissions that people created for this prompt and the category. And I'll actually put a few more um, in the description and uh, on top of my video here. Um, <laughs> this one really made me laugh, kind of walking down the red carpet. Or this prompt of a bulldozer pushing vegetables, or a bumblebee that loves capitalism, or a really, really big bear. Things like the underwater scenes in the style of Vincent Van Gogh. This one I was really impressed. Remember, artificial intelligence is judging the accuracy of these submissions, which means the model that we used for judging knew the style of Vincent Van Gogh for each of these assessments. Or a raccoon using a computer, because you know that raccoons over at Roboflow hold a soft spot. So we also have raccoon driving a tractor, uh, and there's some really, really, really fantastic ones uh, in this category. Um, but you kind of get the idea here of the quality of submissions and art that we had from across the internet of people that were competing to say that, you know, I can draw better than others as judged by AI. And uh, let's see, there's one in here that I really, really like that I just want to demonstrate. Um, okay, so you kind of get the idea. Of all of these submissions, basically a user lands on paint.wtf, they're given these sort of silly prompts here, and then they draw and they submit. Now let me actually compete in one of these competitions for you live, okay? So if I go back to the home page, um, and I'm gonna try my hand at drawing, and I'm gonna go to the top and I'm gonna look at these, and Look at this one, a, a, a snake that bought an airplane. I mean, 90 submissions, or a motorcycle in the desert, 93 submissions. I'll try the snake that bought an airplane. So I'm dropped right in here, and I basically have this uh, blank canvas, and then I just have these standard sort of art tools. And these are what people are using to submit. So if I'm gonna draw a snake that, uh, that bought an airplane, I'm gonna go ahead here, I'm gonna grab my fill, I'm gonna make some grass, uh, my stroke, uh, let me make a little bit smaller of a box, and there we go, there's, there's the ground. 
And then, you know what, um, I should have made the sky before, but I'll go ahead and make the sky as well, because uh, no plane is just gonna fly on the ground, right? So there we go, now we got the sky and the ground. Okay, now let's see, I'm going to draw my snake, and I'll freehand this one, and my snake is gonna be, you know, kind of a deep, deep green. And so I'm gonna make this kind of like a big, thicker stroke here, oops to undo that let me make the stroke this deep green so I'll draw my snake and from here I'll go ahead and speed myself up as I draw the rest of this Okay, so I've drawn my plane, I've drawn my snake, I've drawn the money. Um, I think this is as good as I'm gonna get. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Submit here. And let's see how the AI scores my snake. I did it, I did it. I ranked number one. I swear this is, this is not a glitch. I mean, I just did my best and I nailed it. I got number one on the leaderboard. So if you think that you can do better than my plane and snake, Go ahead and write in the comments. This is actually the first time that I've ever gotten first in uh, any of these competitions. I actually think that some of these other ones might be better than my, eh, I don't know. Mine's pretty good. Mine's pretty good. But I currently am globally number one. I'll put the link in the comments for you to compete in this competition. Okay, so you might be wondering, how does this work? What is happening? So. Under the hood, paint.wtf is almost like an artificial intelligence sandwich. <laughs> uh, and by that I mean, so these prompts um, are uh, generated actually by um, one of the GPT models from, from OpenAI. The very first prompts rewrote by hand, but then a human draws them and a human submits them. And then we use clip, the clip model for rating the models and ranking the submissions. So I'm gonna talk about the clip portion of this, of how we rank given images that are passed to the model. Okay, so remember OpenAI's clip model, which we've done a blog post about previously, and we've even done a video about, which I will link in the comments, uh, is a model that basically is the best maybe AI caption writer ever. Okay, that's maybe the best way to think about clip. So the way that we use clip is we basically take um, one of these prompts, uh, one of these prompts that as it is written, and we pass that prompt to the model, to clip, to say basically, what sort of image space do you think is associated with these collection of words, okay? And then from the model, we get back an embedding of actually 512 um, a feature vector, or 512 feature vectors, okay? So we give the prompt and we get back an embedding of where in, in the latent space of what Clip believes that um, prompt would be associated with. Then we take the user submitted drawings and we pass those to Clip to get the embedded space of where that image is in the same neighborhood of Clip's understanding. So we have two feature vectors. We have the feature vector of what Clip thinks the image should be drawn for a given prompt, stored in a 512 image vector. And then we have the 512 vector of the user's drawing embedded in the same space of what Clip has learned. And so with these two vectors, we then compare their distance using cosine similarity and whichever vector of the user submitted drawing is closest to what Clip thinks, what Clip thinks that prompt should resemble is the winner. So. How does Clip know so much? How does Clip know what exists in one given feature uh, embedding versus another? When OpenAI trained Clip, they took 400 million image caption pairs and they trained a couple of models um, to embed both the text and the images of what those given image text pairs looked like. And then they released this model open source so anyone can try and use Clip. So basically, Clip has a really good association of what words map to what images in a given feature space. Now, in our other video, we unlocked some of the other capabilities of what this allows you to do, but the way that we use it 
is we use it so that clip becomes an arbitrary judge, or I guess um, becomes a, a AI driven judge for any arbitrary prompt. So we could pass any prompt in the world to clip and then clip would think about, hmm, what image do I think exists in that given text feature space? Then you could pass an image to clip and get the respective text embedding for what seems to be most similar. And that's exactly what we do with, with paint.wtf. So, I mean, that's, that's the, the um, very high level summary of what's happening underneath the hood uh, with how clip is scoring on paint.wtf. I highly encourage you to play. It's a fun midday uh, break of a game. Uh, see if you can get to number one on the leaderboard. See if you can build, draw a better snake on a plane. Drop it in the comments. If you wanna see your own prompt, write that in the comments too. We can put your prompt in so that uh, people can compete for whatever you want to compete for. Uh, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, we will soon be putting out an associated blog post and uh, a deeper dive into the technicalities of putting together paint.wtf uh, and other computer vision content. And if you've already played, thanks so much. You're one of uh, many, many users who are trying to get to the top on paint.wtf. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you for the next one.